Welcome to the Holy Yogi, where we help you find the guru inside of you. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. How you doing today? And if no one has told you today that they love you, mwah, let me be the first. My hands are free. Finally, I got a tripod, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's the miracle message of the day. And finally, I'm able to give you some cyber hugs out to each and every single one of you because love, ladies and gentlemen, it truly makes the world go round and round and round. And love is the greatest medicine of them all. I've missed you. How have all of you been doing? I apologize for being away so long, but I... Spirit told me to do a 40 day, 40 night fast, and it just happened totally impromptu. I had planned on, you know, I always, I fast on a every change of the season basis, and um, I was feeling out of sorts. Um, I was going through menopause, <laughs> and I was going through, uh, you know, you know, changing careers. I started a new business and um, I was um, transitioning from a relative of mine leaving my home and just my spirit was like, um, you need to do something miraculous. You need to go to the next level in life as far as living. I'm going to be 54 this coming couple, I got 10 weeks to go. And so I decided that it would, that was, my body was feeling rather bloated. It was feeling rather um, just, I just felt disconnected from it. So I knew it was time for me, you know, whenever I'm, I need to transition or whenever I'm making a big move as far as becoming more healthy, becoming more wealthy, becoming more wise, the first thing you need to do is fast, pray, and meditate. I don't care what's going on in your world or in your life. My great mentor, the late, the great, rest in power, Mr. Dick Gregory, told me, you know, to succeed in life is about fast, pray, and meditate. And, he, and it was in that order. Fast, pray, and meditate. Um, so I immediately uh, decided to do that. And in doing that, um, also... Some of you may be aware of the fact that um, having health challenges such as cancer and such as lupus, which I've healed of, I have to, one thing, a beautiful thing about fasting, the miraculous nature of it is the fact that it resets the body. Basically, I'm born again. You build a whole new body by allowing it to rest and not taking any food and just having water. And so I just had water and sometimes tea and then a little bit of broth of some really good immunity building uh, soup that I made uh, broth for the kids when they got sick. It just shows you how the how it's really working. They got cold and uh, the flu and all that kind of wonderful stuff. And I didn't catch any of it because my immune system was so poof on point. And also my energy vibration figure is so positive. That's the other thing that people don't realize because we truly create our disease here via our mind first before it manifests with inside of, of our body. But anyway, that's why I have been away for quite some time because I was having quite a few healing signals. Matter of fact, to be honest with you, it felt like I was um, having a baby. And it makes so I was having literally morning sickness, morning, noon, and night, noon, and, noon and night, because all the toxins and impurities were dumping into my stomach area. And that's what's happening. When you are birthing a baby, all the new cells and all the activities going on that, you know, so, you know, it's so heavy with all of this, you know, weight of the body changing that um, it gets a little bit uncomfortable. But think about it. You got to brand new baby and for me ah, I have a brand new body I do feel like a million bucks now uh and uh and, and life is just absolutely beautiful it's absolutely good but I'm here to um talk about today um the young man's name 
juice world and I hope I'm saying his name right um but this young man the world was his oyster he had a future that was so real so juice world rest in spirit rest in peace rest in power but when you go out like that it's very difficult to rest in peace matter of fact you know i'm going to even say he'll be be back here before you know it because ladies and gentlemen you can't get out of life alive and what i mean by that is you, you know one thing about life sometimes People have what I call self-inflicting wounds or self-imposed suicide where they do very destructive things to themselves. And when you do, um, you're going to come back. You got to get it right. The universe will give you opportunities to learn the blessing and the lesson. And you come back to learn it all over again, over and over. called reincarnation. A lot of people don't believe in that. I get it, but it's okay if you really analyze it and study it. We've all been here before. That's why a lot of people don't understand, you know, why does this happen to me? You know, you, you see children who come into this world at the age of six years of age, they get cancer and they pass on and they die. And they're like, well, you know, this precious little angel, this precious little soul, you know, what happened for it to leave this earth so clearly. Well, it's real simple. It's picking up where it's karmic responsibilities of what it left in this last lifetime. So anyway, that's what Juice is experiencing. Juice World is experiencing now. And I want to basically give you the blessing and the lesson as far as what he is here to teach us. Every experience that we have is a lesson, you know, um, you know, Shakespeare said, all the world is the stage and people are the players. You know, we are all here to basically learn some blessings and a lesson. You know, every every opportunity is a teachable moment. So let's learn from, you know, Juice World what his message was for us. Um, and I'm going to say that Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that, and I've had my wonderful experience with having herb, <laughs> marijuana, and cocaine, and a lot of, um, that's the only thing that I, I marinated in as far as drugs are concerned, recreational or um, harmful. But apparently he had Percocet and he, in addition to that, had 70 pounds of marijuana on him. Um, and he had a seizure. The universe would take you from this earth when you're not being responsible with it. And you're going to be the blessing for someone else to choose to live their life righteously. We all know when we partake of these things, a lot of times, a lot of performers can't perform. A lot of artists tend to get involved with drugs and alcohol because of the artsy nature of what they're doing, the magic of it all. And it becomes rather addictive. You go into the zone um by trade i know what that feeling is like um i used to be i'm not gonna say i'm not a singer um but i was trying to get signed by arista records and the whole bit and um when i sing you go into the zone and chills come over your body 
and you do have an out-of-body experience where you have a gift from God. I know what that feels like. And that feeling for a lot of people becomes addictive, just like any other feeling that we have. That's why people become addicted to sex when they have that beautiful, sensational feeling of orgasm. They want to experience it all again, again and again and again and again and again. It's like anything in life. And sometimes, because we tend to relax, we tend to take ourselves out of a stressful nature, etc. And the only time that we think that we can get there is to have a high. And we think it's coming from the marijuana, etc. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you about a natural high. Trust me, I've had a lot of highs. Remember drinking myself underneath the table, you know, I get it, you know, but the thing about it was that each time I came down from that high, my problems were still there to face me. Like the old saying goes, you can run, but you can't hide. So what I decided to do was I decided to tackle my challenges, my challenges that were in my life. And in doing so, I found so many natural highs that I get high on life. I can't wait to work. I wake up every morning because I found my purpose on what I was able to do. And that's what happens with a lot of performers. A lot of performers, they created a phenomenal song or, you know, or they a, a art piece while they were high. So they think that they have to be high again in order to be able to create that masterpiece again. And so they get caught up into it. But like anything else, as you reach that pinnacle of high, you got to get more higher to get to that same high to the point where as you're not here anymore. So that's why it's so important that we become at peace with where we are and with who we are. And that what we strive to do is to love and honor ourselves and be at peace with just that. And try to seek it within. So the secret is, ladies and gentlemen, the secret is, Meditate. Meditate and that power will come to you. The inspirational song, the 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 the, the poetic versus the uh, movie script, um, the um, talented, you know, makeup, um, the um, um, the Rubik's Cube, um, um, the entertainment um, show, it'll come when you get into that alignment with the universal natural high that will help you connect with great spirit. That's real, that's the truth, and guess what? It's the most glorious high and the most cheapest. I get my greatest inspiration, my greatest ideas, my million dollar ideas when I'm in my meditation in the morning and also at night. Try to do that and focus on that. Let's keep it real, ladies and gentlemen. Let's learn the blessing and the lesson with this brother. Brother world, we wish you peace. We ask that you come back whole, complete, and balanced. We ask that you come and learning the lesson is that the only high that truly matters is the universal high of reaching your greatest potential. And it's cheap. It feels so good. It's legal. It's easy. And it's called Nirvana. I reached that point for me. Another way I, I reached it was when I did my 40 day, 40 night fast. I feel fantastic. I feel whole. I feel complete, I feel balanced. And someone on my Facebook page said, I'm glowing and I can even feel and see the glow myself. It's always that aura, that halo that comes around you. So be here tomorrow and I tell you about my 40 day, 40 night fast results review. I look forward to it. Until then, peace world. Because in your world, 
there is only good and there is only God. Come on back and get it right in this lifetime. Again now, see you soon, world. Rest in power. See you again.